look, it might not work out, but you better believe I'm gonna freaking make it work. I'm gonna believe that it's gonna work. I'm gonna do whatever I can to make sure it works. And then if it doesn't, which I never think about, which never is gonna happen, but if it does, I don't know. Because I'm gonna be dead in the eye. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show, The Rocket Market. Show up to blow up. Let's do it. Hey, if you want to win, I've just, in my life, I've figured out that if you have a total commitment to whatever that is, whether that's in business, whether that's in a relationship, whether that's in sports or music, whatever you want to become great at, it has to be a total commitment, 100% total commitment. You agree? I agree 100%. And I do think that in our culture today, especially the millennial generation, we have a difficult time committing. We can't really commit even to Saturday night plans. We yeah. want to see what the options are, see if something cooler comes along before we commit. You know, um, same thing in a, in a relationship. People want to act like they're married and, and live together and test it out and see how it goes, but they don't really want to commit because what if someone better comes along? But honestly, in my experience, once I was committed, you know, especially in Which our took relationship. took a long time. For me, I knew 100%, like we were like 12, like I'm gonna marry that girl. Maybe more like 16, 17. Mm, Nine-ish. <laughs> yeah, it, I think for me, because I, I have a really difficult time making decisions and that's always bothered me because every book I read about success is, uh, most of them talked about how successful people make decisions quickly, and I always felt like I struggled with that. Um, even just picking what I want to eat for lunch, I have to ask everybody what they're going to get. I have to ask the server. She always what do you wants think to share, and I never want to share. I always want to share, so you could try everything. Again, like committing to one thing is difficult. <laughs> it's difficult. That. That's true. I'm like, I don't even want to share. It's like, no, I, that's, I'm getting the carne asada burrito. That's it. That's what I want. Why would I want to share it with anybody else? I know it's total a great commitment. quality. It's a great quality. Commitment. So anyway, except when, you want to share. <laughs> except for when your wife wants to share with you yeah, and you're only committed to the carne asada burrito more than your wife and what she wants. Anyway. <laughs> so what I, well, for me, I knew that I wanted to marry Johanna, like I said, when I was young, but also I understood that she had a hard time making commitments. So I didn't really tell her that I was in love with her until we were like 17. So. Yeah, 17. And then the first time we kissed, he was like, yeah, and I'm in love with you. And I thought to myself, oh no, I'm not ready for that. Yeah. I'm 17. But it was interesting because when we were 19 was when we officially started to be boyfriend and girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And I remember we had an argument and we, we had a disagreement. And I remember thinking to myself, okay, we need to break up. Clearly this isn't working. If we're fighting, it's just not working. We should break up. <laughs> and so I had set in my mind, I we were ha we were breaking up that night, I was preparing, I was away at college, so we were gonna talk on the phone and I was gonna have the breakup conversation on the phone. Mm. And I remember calling Adam and saying, yeah, so I think this, you know, this isn't really working, I think this means we need to break up. And he said, why? Mm. And I said, because like we're fighting, we don't agree, like so this isn't working. And he said, well, that's how relationships are, we're not always gonna agree on everything, we're gonna have disagreements and we're gonna argue and we're gonna fight but we work through it and we're gonna get better working through it and I thought to myself hmm that kind of sounds pretty smart <laughs> and then I said and I think as I was nervous at his commitment level like he was just so sure that I was the one and I wasn't there yet so I said well I just feel like you know I'm only 19 and I feel like you're so sure that we're gonna get married and I just don't know yet maybe maybe we need to break up so that I could figure that out and Adam's like, that's stupid. Why, why would Brie break up so that you could figure it out? You're not gonna figure out I'm the one by breaking up with me and not being with me. Yeah, you're gonna find out I'm the one by being with me. That's what he said. And I said, well, that kind of makes sense. And here's one point. The most certain person in any conversation wins. Mm, that's and why he she was certain. Wins almost every argument except for this particular. Except one. for that one. Because he was so sure. And his confidence honestly was attractive to me. Like he knew where we were going. And even though I wasn't sure yet, he did. And something about that was very appealing and attractive. Not in a creepy way, in, in a confident way. And I remember telling him, well, he said, well, is there somebody else you want to be with that's, you know, instead of me? 
And I said, no. He's like, so there's nobody else in the equation. I was like, no, I just feel like you're so sure and I'm not yet, so maybe I need to like figure that out. And he said, he's like, how about this? How about we stay together and if somebody else comes along that you think might be better than me, then we'll break up. You go date that guy. And if that never happens, we stay together. And I think just the freedom of him giving me the option. Millennial. The freedom of being like, okay, so I don't have to be fully committed yet, but I can give myself the opportunity to find out if I want to be committed without that pressure, I'm in. And so I was in. And so what happened was, was nobody better, better ever came along. And we stayed together and then we dated for four and a half years and then we got married and we've been married for, it'll be 10 years in August, three kids later, it and worked And we're out. still millennials. And I she will Googled say it. though, she it. We that are. we are millennials. We're <laughs> kind of like the older version of millennials, but we're still a millennial. And, but I will say that once I did get married, I remember like a week after I got married, I, I was still waiting tables and I was a restaurant server and somebody asked me, you know, they saw my wedding ring and they're like, wow, congrats, you know, um, when did you get married or are you engaged? And I was like, oh, I just got married, you know, a few weeks ago. And they said, that's awesome. When did you know he was the one? And I thought to myself, and I said, when I said I do, and I remember them thinking that, like, their look was kind of like, that's a weird response. But to me, that's what it was. Like, once I committed and I said I do, I was all in. Like, all in. All my chips, I remember her everything feeling, I had. I remember it being different, like, feeling different. I'm like, dang, babe, like, something, you're, you're different. You're, you're like, uh... Sold All out. in, yeah. sold out. There was no other option, and so I could fully give myself physically, you know, sp you know, spiritually, emotionally, and and I felt freedom in that commitment. I felt total freedom in that total commitment, and it was kind of like you know when you're dating, there's constantly this sh this struggle of do I like this? Do I really want to spend the rest of my life, you know, with this? Could I handle that about this person? Do I? But once we were married, it was like all those questions or doubts or hesitancies went away and I was like, well, this is it, so let's make it the best we can. You know, yeah, we're gonna have arguments like he said or disagreements, but this is it for, for life. So, you know, till death do us part, I'm all in and I'm gonna give all I got. And there was so much freedom in that commitment. Yeah, and I think because of that total commitment and that freedom, our marriage has gotten better every year. Mm -hmm. Like we're going on 10 years and I feel like it just gets better. But I know that no matter what, if there's a bad day and we get in an argument, I'm not thinking like, well, maybe I'm gonna go sleep on the couch. Like I've never slept on the couch. I'm gonna freaking sleep on the couch. <laughs> no. Like, no, I'm gonna, we're gonna work it out mm -hmm. every time, every night. And so when you bring that to business, mm -hmm. you have to fully feel the same way where it's like, look, it might not work out, but you better believe I'm gonna freaking make it work. I'm gonna believe that it's gonna work. I'm gonna do whatever I can to make sure it works. And then if it doesn't, which I never think about, which never is gonna happen, it's but if it option. never does, I don't know. Cause I'm gonna be dead in the office. Gonna I'm gonna die trying. Dead in the office or I'm gonna freaking win. win. And so because of that, we have won at a certain level and we continue to every year get better and better and better. And there's no doubt in my mind that we'll become more successful in business and our marriage will continue to grow in, in every area of our life. And I will say though that when we first got started in business, I was really nervous and Adam was sold Same out. He was 100% all in. And for me, I always had, like I think because I'm very security driven and I hate financial pressure and I hate financial struggle, I always, you know, I still waited tables for a long time when we started yeah. our business. And, and I always had this kind of like option of, I could, I could go be a pharmaceutical sales rep if this doesn't work out, or I could go be a famous actress if this doesn't work out. I always had these like thoughts, like I could, I still have time, I'm still only 23. I could, you know, do other things. I have a college degree. And Adam was always so 100% all in. And it took me probably about three years yeah. from when we started our business to really go all in because I was unsure. But here's the key. Just like I didn't break up with Adam, we worked through those things, I didn't break up with being an entrepreneur. Yeah. 
I still put in all the work. I never stop putting in the work. I never stop making phone calls. I never stop presenting. I never stop showing up to the office. I never stop getting uncomfortable. And, and so then once we had a baby, it was kind of like, okay, uh, I gotta freaking make this happen. There's no outs. This isn't just fun and games anymore. There's no plan B, there's no options. We literally just like, like in the book, Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill talks about this army and, and the leader of the army, they were, they were, you know, they sailed to this island and there was this battle and the leader of the army said, we're burning our ships because we're either gonna fight this battle and win it or we're gonna die trying. And so they set their, their ships on fire and what do you know, they won the battle. And that's basically what happened was, mm -hmm. now that we had a baby, I thought, I don't have these other options. It's not about me anymore. It's like, I better freaking make this happen. We have to win, we have to succeed because now somebody else's life is on the line. Like we're dependent. This person is dependent upon us. We better make it happen. And that's when, for me, I sold out as being an entrepreneur and put all my chips and in. And that's said, when our business it. really started to blow up. That's, that's when what? we exploded. Yeah. And so for some people, I think what we're trying to say is for some people, it's easy for you to make decisions and it's easy for, for you to commit right away. But for others, it might be more like me and it might take you some time. But give yourself a chance to make the commitment. And, and keep I- Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward and keep it. And like, like Adam said, is there somebody better? And I was said, no, same thing as an entrepreneur. Yeah. Is, is there, there something better, better that you can do? It, it, yeah, yeah. You have a better idea. Yeah. You know, I knew we didn't want to work for somebody else. I knew we wanted to have control of our life. I knew we wanted control of our time. So whenever I was doubtful or that rejection felt uncomfortable, or I, we were having a slow month, you know, in the beginning of being an entrepreneur, your, your income is up and down. And whenever we were going through those struggles, I would think to myself, was there something better that I can do? Is there a better idea? And there never was. So we kept moving forward and kept going. And once that commitment level was there, once we were totally committed, at least for me, our business exploded. And there was so much freedom in that. I didn't spend my, my life, you know, my mind going back. You waste so much energy and time overthinking things and trying to think of a way out when all that time, if I would have, rather than thinking about an alternative plan, if I would have even put more focus into our business, we would have exploded sooner. But sometimes you can't make yourself or force yourself to be somewhere you're not yet, but allow yourself the permission and put in the work to be able to be in a place to make that commitment. And just know once you're there, once you make it, you'll see huge results. I'm all in, babe. Hey, question of the day. Are you gonna go all in? And what is it? What are you gonna go in all in at? Is it business, relationship? Tag somebody, tag your wife, tag your kids. And um, it's not too late to make that wife. decision now if maybe you haven't been. Yeah. Every day is a new day to commit. Mm -hmm. Love you.